hello guys welcome back to a peacemakers channel today i will be talking about sewing supplies that can facilitate and enhance your sewing process along your sewing journey so let's get right into it now if you're new to this channel welcome i'm glad that you'll join us and if you're a returning watcher also welcome back i'm glad to have you back we'll be using this book it's called it's um it's titled made to measure it's a really good book guys if you need a guide sometimes we kind of need a guide to help us in learning how to cut and learning uh basic terminology and just to give us more knowledge on sewing it's good to always refer to a book and um, follow the guidelines. Now, this is by Elisa Lex Joel, uh, founder by Hand, founder of By and London, Elisa Lex Joel. So, this is probably something that you can look look for in the market, um, maybe at your local library, or you can look for it online. But this is a really good book, so let's get started. So, first, of course, as we all know, we need a space for our sewing we need a space that we can be comfortable to sew you need a space that's big enough for your machine machine table your ironing board and all of the essentials and your mannequin or a dress form so that's one of the things that we need we do need a dress form as you can see here we have a dress form and this is very this is very good. That will be one of the things I'll be talking about. Very useful and decorate. You can look for one of the decorative ones that you can place your garment or your project. Once you're done working on it, you can place it right on your dress form. You want to get in that habit of placing your garment on your dress form or your mannequin. That way, you're placing the, the garment, you're giving it a professional look, okay? So the next thing I'll be talking about is the next high supply will be a sewing serger. Okay, as you can see here, we have a sewing serger. This is very essential for working with. So, now, see here, um, you want to get yourself a serger, a sewing serger. This is very, very essential for your sewing process, I will tell you, because once you sew, you want to make sure that the treading and all the inside, you want it to be nice and neat. You want to give it a nice and professional. You want it to look as professional as possible. So by having a sewing serger at home, it'll be easier for you to just create, it'll be best for you to in create a professional looking garments or projects. You can use it for on any of your project that you're working on. So I would highly recommend that you look into uh, affordable sewing serger. Now, next up, you want to definitely look into a curve ruler, uh, a French curve ruler, okay? Now, this is always so great when you're working with necks or the, um, all like curved areas, areas that are not straight. This will help you in creating the shape that you want. Okay. Next up, you want to, of course, you want to make sure that you get yourself a tape measure and a ruler. Okay. Also, we want to look into getting paper, a quitting clips. I personally use a quitting clips for instead of using pens. Okay, so I use the quitting clips instead of pins because I don't first I don't have to worry about poking my finger when I'm not wearing something to protect my fingers. I like to use that, especially when I'm working with heavier fabric and I don't want it shifting around. So it helped me to work on my fabrics easier. So you want to look definitely look into that. Now, also a loop turner. Look at that. Look at the picture for a loop turner. This is always good when you're working with a... All right. Also, you want to have your pencils, your pen, pencils, and erasers for when you're drafting your pattern because you will make mistake when you're transferring your measurements to the on the drafting paper. So you need something to make corrections. So you want to look into getting yourself pens, 
pencils and erasers and of course some pattern making we have a friendly neighbor here and also speaking of drafting you want to make sure that you have pattern paper because before you cut your fabric you want to make sure that you measure you have your your measurements on your drafting paper make sure that everything is accurate made all the necessary corrections that you need before transferring your pattern on the fabric now of course we cannot go without saying we need a good iron or steamer for your garment now what you want to get in the habit of this was a mistake that i make when i first started out i will sew but then i want iron as i'm sewing so which so you want to get in the habit of ironing as you go once you have sewed something you want to go to your ironing board get your iron or your steamer and iron it out that way everything stretches out the fabric can relax and you can that way you're seeing your mistakes your errors as you go in order to have a good finishing product now speaking of scissors i believe i mentioned scissors already but there are different types of scissors in the market there are one that i like is a duck bill scissors this is for grading and seam allowances so you can use this to cut the the uh the tread you can use it to snip the tread that are angling as your sole so you want to look at different scissors that can work for you and like i said like i always say we all we are hard learning i'm still learning even though i've been doing this for some time i'm still learning as i go i'm still making adjustments here and there so definitely when you do go into the market to look for supplies that will work for you do your research see what you can afford and then if you don't can't get all your supplies all at once i would definitely say get it little by little oh yeah one thing before i go will be treading you want to make sure that you get the right treading for your machine or even um for your fabrics okay the right treading the right colors there are different type of treading that you can hey. use so. yeah and needles as well so different needles for different machines so study your machine study the market um study the study the machine study your fabrics see what you need to work with the, the fabric and the machine we also have different needles that we can use for the fabrics like for instance if you're working with a leather fabric like a heavy fabric a jeans fabric you have different types of needle that you can use for that uh, I believe that's pretty much it, guys, that I have for you for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to me. Let's all keep learning together. Let's keep growing and enjoying the process. Again, um, this is a Peacemakers channel, and I'm glad, I'm glad to have you guys here. All right, until next time, stay fabulous. Bye-bye.